Hi guys, welcome back to the video. Thank you for watching. So for today, I'm going to be answering some of the questions that you made me on Instagram. So you can just follow me there and I'm gonna answer your questions or also just let me know down in the comments and I'll do it. Okay, so let's start. What do you miss the most about Mexico? I'll have to say that apart from friends and family, what I miss the most is the food. I mean, here in Cork, we do have some places that sell Mexican food, like burritos, tacos, quesadillas, you know, the popular things. But, and they are actually good, but you can't really compare them to how they make them in Mexico. You know, it's not the same ingredients, it's not the same seasoning, the same taste. Yeah, the same the people that make them are not Mexican, you know, so it's a lot of things. I mean, I can't really complain. The food is still good, but it's not the same as if you were eating in Mexico, of course. So I think what I miss the most from Mexico is the food. Okay, why Cork and not Dublin? This is a very good question. Before I came to Ireland, I had three options. It was between, between Dublin, Galway and Cork. So first of all, I had to remove uh, Galway because they don't have an airport and I like to travel, so that was out. And then I had to choose between Cork and Dublin. And I did some research and I saw that uh, Dublin was more expensive, like the rent, the way of living, even the school, the English courses were more expensive in Dublin. So that's what helped me decide to come to Cork. And I mean, I'm very happy here. I don't regret it. I love it. I have been to Dublin and Galway and both are very nice cities, but I don't see myself living there and I prefer living here in Cork and so it was a good choice. Okay, what's my favorite country that I have visited? Italy, this one is very easy. I have been to Italy three times, to Rome, Milan, Florence, Venice and Naples. I completely love Italy. I mean, if you like history, architecture, culture, food, or even if you don't like any of these, you will love Italy. There are so many places to visit in Italy and for many different kinds of tourism. Like you can go to the beach, you can go skiing, you can go see the museums, the art, the amazing architecture there is. You can go and have a wine tasting. I mean, many different things and all of this while you eat great food. And by the way, you don't need a lot of money. Of course, if you stay outside of the touristic places, like if you do your research before going, you do all your reservations and everything, you can save a lot of money. I mean, there is a reason why Italy is a country with the most World Heritage sites. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, what was the first country you visited in Europe? Okay, so the first country I visited in Europe, that was Spain. Back in May of 2017, I went to Spain with my father. We just spent uh, like six days. We didn't have a lot of time and a big budget. We just spent two days in Madrid, four days in Barcelona. It was an amazing experience, so many things to see. It's like a new world, apart from what I had uh, seen before. Uh, I completely loved it. And we got to see a football match. That was the main reason of the travel. We got to see the Barcelona versus a bar. It was an amazing experience. I mean, finally, I got my dream of seeing Messi, Iniesta, Neymar, Suarez, all of them playing together. And of course, uh, they won. And since then, I just decided I completely love uh, Europe and I decided to come more times. And well, here I am now in Ireland. Now, uh, how is the weather in Ireland? Okay, so the weather in Ireland is difficult sometimes. Like right now, it can be very sunny and in 10 minutes, 10 minutes, it gets very windy and starts to rain a lot. It's very unpredictable. That's what I'm going to say. But to be honest, it's not so cold. like. What I thought before coming. I have been living here for one year and six months so I have seen all of the seasons and I mean it's not so cold like other countries in Europe. Of course it's still cold but I mean as long as you have the appropriate clothes I think uh, you're not gonna die of the weather. I do have to say that it gets very windy here in Ireland sometimes. So for example I just gave up about having an umbrella because they all broke because of the wind Another thing is that it does rain quite a lot. It doesn't rain a lot, it's like it's not pouring, but it's like uh, it just doesn't stop. It's uh, raining a little, but sometimes it rains for all day, uh, for cons some consecutive days and doesn't stop to rain. So that's like quite annoying. At this time of the year, like in at other places in the world or in Europe, uh, it gets uh, dark at 5 p.m. So you don't have a lot of uh, daylight, but during summer you have like sun until 9, 10 p.m. So that's good. 
and also it's not the hottest place in the world but i mean you can still go out with shorts and sandals enjoy a little the sun but uh, the summer doesn't last that very long here all right guys so let's go with the last one is german difficult okay so if you didn't know i speak german i lived in bochum germany for almost a year i went to school there and also i lived with the host family i will say that nowadays my german is not so good like before because I don't practice it so much like before and but I will say that I still speak enough and I can understand the most of it before going to Germany I took classes twice a week for over a year I mean of course it's very different from other languages like if you have never learned a language and you go with German it's gonna be difficult but if you really want to learn it and study every day and you can make a great progress within a year the most important thing is that you practice. If you don't practice it, you're not gonna progress. Like for example, when I was living in Germany, I went to school and everything was in German, the subjects, mathematics, biology, everything. And then when I went home, I lived with a host family with four kids and the parents. So it was all day German. Like at the beginning, my, my brain was about to explode, but I mean, you just get used to it. So I think that's just the best. Probably you can't go to Germany right now to practice your German, but I'm sure there is some people that speak German where you live. You can contact somebody, go to classes, watch movies, anything, anything can really help. Overall, I do think it's a difficult language, but if you do propose to learn it every day and practice it, I think you can master it in some years. All right, guys, so that's everything for today. Thank you very much for watching. So if you like this kind of videos, let me know down in the comments. Also, if you have any questions, you can let me know. Or you can also go and follow me on Instagram. You can send me a DM and ask anything that you want, okay? So before you leave, make sure to hit the like button, turn on the notifications, and subscribe. See you in the next video.